that's what I'm trying to say. And we want to do the best that we can, but this flesh, man, this flesh gets in the way at times, you know. But, like the scripture says, don't let your sins weigh you down, you know. We all fall short of the glory. Sometimes we will mess up. But that's where grace comes in and the Lord has mercy upon us and we can, you know, do better the next day, you know. Um, the times we coming, coming the, the times that's approaching, there are going to be times where we're going to have to be at another level of spiritual awareness. And that's what affliction you go through affliction, you go through temptation, you know, you go through a lot of situations, that's your experience. Because hopefully you don't fall from certain things over and over and over and over again. You you got you you put things up under your belt, so to speak. You know, like striving for masteries in a sense. That you know, you you defeated this particular thing, you know, then here comes the next trial. Now now, Yahweh Shah went through that. Yahweh Shah went through. It tells you that Yahweh Shah went through. Um, it says in Mark, if I'm not mistaken, that Satan came and visited. He said that he would be back for a season. Or, you know, in certain seasons where Satan comes and bothers you, certain time periods where you're going to go through a little bit of hell. And this is why the scripture as well says, I know how to be a bound in the base. You know? You know, sometimes, sometimes we are low in the spirit sometimes we're high in the spirit you know but we got to be content we believe we're not going to be 100 percent so what the tests do from satan you know or, or, or really really the most high because the, the most high sent satan to Job to test his integrity and he passed with flying colors and see, that's what, you, that's what we got to remember. To pass, you know, we got to remember that, you know, the Lord is, is, is a counselor in heaven for certain demons and spirits to mess with you. But if, if you are part of that chosen, guess what? You're going to be all good. If you're part of the chosen, it's just to strengthen your mind. It's just to strengthen you for the days to come. And we're coming into some, some, some crazy times, man, where our minds, our, 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 our strength has to be strong and, you know, there's going to be times where, you know, it may get rough, but you got to keep your integrity, hold your faith. My favorite scripture, and I'm going to just quote the scripture, I'm not going to get nothing. Uh, 1 Corinthians um, 10 and 13, First uh, Thessalonians 10 and 13. There's no temptation taking you such as common to man, but the Most High is faithful, who will who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but with the temptation, make a way to escape. So, we're all going through some type of temptation, but the Lord always going to have a way of escape, and that's the faith, and that's the hope. You know? It's the faith, and that's the hope. So, we just got to gird up our minds, and, you know, the Passover's coming up, and, you know, brothers, we feel a little pressure. We pray and hope that, you know, we are worthy you know, Lord willing, we can make it to the Passover, you know, and, you know, do the Passover, you know, and we want to pray that we eat the Passover worthily, you know, so there's a lot of things that come to your mind, you know, oh, shit, there's <laughs> a lot of things that come to my mind, you see a lot of fallouts and Jake bugging out, and you have, you understand that, damn, the Lord, you know, ultimately, at the end of the day, with, you know, the back and forth, the, you know, the, this and that or whatever it may be with other, you know, people who then dropped out and fell out, they bring up this doctrine, they bring up that doctrine and we defend it and things like that. But you know, if you if you are a real man of the Lord and you're experienced, you know, in the back of your head it's like, man, I pray I hope that the Lord doesn't take <laughs> his spirit from me. You know? So it's it's a constant mental struggle. This truth ain't for the weak. You know, there's true faith for the weak, man. It's not. You gotta, you gotta, you know, the word of scripture says, you know, the flesh is weak. 
uh, but the spirit is willing. You know? No, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, the flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. Uh, it's another one that I uh, I was thinking about. I know Apostle Elder Rakha, he makes mixes of this quite often. Um, you know, we're weak, you know, in the sense of this world, but uh, it says that the weak say I am strong. So, you know, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the case that we are weak, you know, but we're strong through Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. And that's why it's important to call upon those names, okay? Because if you say those prayers up to the Lord, you know, they will answer you. You gonna get your, you, you gotta, you gotta read the scriptures and believe it. That the angels, Revelation 8 and 3, delivers up our, our, our prayers as a sacrifice to the Heavenly Father. And hey, if it's a sweet savior into, into the throne, you know, the Lord will grant us, man. He'll grant us those, you know, wishes. So, hey, you know, I, I pray for the Lord to, you know, clear my mind, clear my thoughts, you know, that I can think, you know, uh, soberly, you know, so I can think soberly, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, give me a second. I can't switch the thing. I ain't trying to make sure weirdos know where I'm working. <laughs> I'm pre-recording. But, um, uh, one second. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, man, let the weak say I am strong, you know. And the strength is in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? That strength is in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. So, you know, now, you know, Lord willing, this is edifying, you know, I'm just... I'm really just, you know, talking. I guess I'm just expressing myself at the moment. So, Salakia, you know, uh, you know, sometimes you just got to have a little mini rant. You know, you got to think out loud. Just hit recording. Just, you know, maybe I won't even upload this. You know what I'm saying? I just putting it in my mind that, you know, we got to continue to fight. You know, well, since I am part, let me just grab something real quick. Let me grab something real quick. Cause I hate to not actually pull out a scripture, but um, real quick, this is Sirach, the second chapter, in the first verse, it says, "My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto Him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end." You see. So you got to understand that this is a fight. This is a it is spiritual, mental, and physical. Our bodies get beat up, you know. Certain understandings and wisdom and knowledge that we put into our spirit, put into this this, this flesh, it, it causes body aches. It causes pain, you know. That's a whole other thing, the infirmities, you know. So we got to, you know, through our infirmities, we, we, we praise the Lord, we glory in the Lord, you know? But don't make haste in time of trouble, man. It's, it's going to be, hey, we're all going to be at, at, at that test, the hour of temptation, okay? The whole world is going to go through that hour of temptation and make not haste. It says if, if, if um, somewhere in Proverbs or Psalms, it speaks about um, if, 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 um, if you faint during adversity, your, your, your strength was, oh, fuck, goodness. Um, if you, something about adversity and your strength, man, I hate to quote what scripture wrong, but I, it, it's, it's like it's in my spirit. I know what I want to say, but I can't verbally put it out. Um, oh, man. If you faint during tribulation, thy faith was weak or something to that faith, something to that nature, you know? But if a brother, like I said, if I, if I do upload this, a brother, Bob I can put it in there unless I remember it and I'll post it. But I'll keep it going. It says, um, wherefore, it says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. This is what I'm talking about, the struggles, the fight. And yeah, we got to be patient. But, um, yeah, my, my job is calling me, so, um, 
that's pretty much it for right now. All praise to you. How about you? My shot by Shinko. That's better than Shalom. I'm a Bible ball.